Coast Pilot question number two reads, Great Salt Pond on Black Island is, and your, your choices are, entered through a dredge cut, not accessible in easterly gales, available for vessels up to a maximum draft of eight feet, or not affected by the tide. So let's look up Great Salt Pond. Let's go back to the index again. CDEFG, CDEFGHFG, Great Island. We're in Great Salt, so Great River, lots of greats here. Great Salt Pond, Great Salt Pond, where'd it go? There it is, page 137. Here you go, page 137, right at the beginning. We're looking up Great Salt Pond, so we got weather, Black Island, sh -sh -sh, Black Island North. Here we are, Great Salt Pond. And now let's let's make sure we know what we're looking for. We're looking for it. entered through a dredge cut, not accessible in easterly gales, available for vessels up to a maximum draft of eight feet, or not affected by tide. So let's look for that by reading. Great Salt Pond. On the west side of Block Island is the best harbor in Block Island Sound for vessels of 15 foot draft or less. Look at that, 15 foot or less. Now our question saying eight feet or less, we can count this one out. So we can count out answer C, available for vessels to a maximum of eight feet because we're seeing maximum 15. In easterly gales, when the sea is too heavy to enter Old Harbor, a landing can be made at Great Salt Pond. So not accessible in easterly gales is one of the answers, but we're seeing that in easterly gales, when the sea is too heavy, you can to enter Old Harbor, a landing can be made at Great Salt Pond. So that's not the correct one. Now we have two left. Enter through a dredge cut or not affected by tide. And let's keep reading. The entrance about two miles south-southwest of Block Island North Light is a dredge cut. Look at that. The entrance is a dredge cut through a narrow beach. So I would say that's the one entered through a dredge cut. Now let's look. So question two, we're saying is A. We go to the answers. Question two here is A.